Early lung cancer typically does not cause symptoms. As the cancer grows, you may experience symptoms such as a cough that gets worse or does not go away, shortness of breath, chest pain, and wheezing. Other symptoms of lung cancer include coughing up blood, hoarseness, weight loss without trying, and frequent lung infections, such as pneumonia. Other health problems may cause these symptoms. You should see your doctor if you have any symptoms you're concerned about. Lung cancer has four different stages, from stage one to four, and each numbered stage, for example, stage one has lettered substages A and B and so on for two and three. The earliest stage is stage one, and the earliest in stage one is stage 1A, and the, the two things that define early, small and no spread to the lymph nodes. So generally we think of it as something two centimeters in size or less, and the lymph nodes are clean by the various scans that are obtained by the doctor. Our patients are almost always asymptomatic in early stage lung cancer, and the only way they're found is by getting an x-ray or a CT scan. Now that used to be by accident. Somebody would be getting an x-ray for a physical exam or for some other reasons, but now we have good evidence that screening CAT scans, uh, looking for somebody that's at a high risk for lung cancer, people that smoked a lot, will pick up early cancers and allow us to cure them, and cure them much easier than if they were allowed to grow without us knowing they were there. Treatment options for cancer include local therapies, such as surgery and radiation therapy, and systemic therapies, such as chemotherapy and targeted therapy. You may receive one or a combination of these treatments. There are several surgical options, depending on the type and stage of the cancer. During a wedge resection, or segmentectomy, the tumor and a small margin of healthy tissue are removed. In a lobectomy, or sleeve lobectomy, one lobe of a lung is removed. During a pneumonectomy, the surgeon removes the entire lung. In a sleeve resection, a diseased section of a large airway is removed, and the healthy ends are reattached. During any of these procedures, your surgeon may remove lymph to check them for signs of cancer. Radiation therapy, or radiotherapy, is a local treatment that uses high-energy rays to kill or shrink cancer cells to relieve symptoms. External beam radiation therapy, or ERBT, is directed at the cancer's location from a machine outside your body. Brachytherapy, or internal radiation therapy, often in the form of pellets, is most commonly used to help relieve blockage of the large airways by cancer. Chemotherapy is a systemic treatment that uses drugs to stop the growth of the cancer cells by either killing them or inhibiting their cell division. Once the drugs enter the bloodstream, they can travel and reach cancer cells throughout the body. Targeted therapies are newer cancer treatments that work by focusing on specific genetic abnormalities of cancer cells. One targeted therapy, bevacizumab, starves the tumor by stopping it from creating a new blood supply. Another targeted therapy, erlotinib, stops tumor growth by blocking the chemicals that signal the cancer cells to grow and divide. The challenge is most people present when it's very late stage uh, and it's about managing symptoms as opposed to curing them. So the key thing that you can do is detect the disease early, and that's what we think the breathalyzer technology uh, allows for, picking it up at that earliest stage when it's treatable. Generally, the, early, the treatment for early stage lung cancer is to cut out the cancer. And now what we can do is we can use videoscopic techniques, small little holes in the side of the patient, to take out that part of the lung. Lung cancer prevention includes actions you can take to lower your chance of developing cancer. The most important thing you can do to prevent lung cancer is to not start smoking, or to quit smoking if you do. Avoid breathing in other people's smoke. Test your home for radon, a known carcinogen, or cancer-causing agent. 
avoid exposure to cancer-causing chemicals at work. Maintain a healthy weight because being overweight can cause the body to circulate higher levels of certain hormones that can stimulate cancer growth. Eat a diet full of fruits and vegetables, which are packed with substances that can help reduce your risk of cancer and help control your weight. Exercise regularly, which will help you control your weight and reduce your risk through its positive influence on your hormone levels and immune system. Be sure and talk to your doctor about ways to reduce your risk of lung cancer. When you stop smoking, your risk for lung cancer starts to decrease year after year. But the reality is that it never gets down to the risk that, to which somebody who's never smoked had. So you never really get down to, where, to, to the bottom and be, are equal to the not, never smokers.